the thing that made a difference between me being, let's say, like a physicist or a scientist is probably the idea that as a, as a visually impaired person, I have to solve problems all the time. My background is, is uh, uh, electrical engineering with an emphasis on uh, uh, radio frequency. And that interest goes back to when, you know, I've been fascinated with radio ever since I was a little child and got the ham radio license at 11. So I've been doing similar things to this for a long time. I uh, oversee the design and implementation of the ground stations for STO and LRO, mostly in the area of RF radio frequency. So that's the antennas, the receivers, the uh, transmitters, all that's involved in that. My father, right, that, that really was the beginning of it. And he told us we could do anything we want and, that, and to not settle for second best. Working for NASA has really been a fantastic experience. I've gotten to, uh, I've gotten to travel all over the world. I went to Greece last year to help out the Russians with when they requested for us to do the Soyuz. I, I got to go to Antarctica to work on an antenna. So it's been an adventure. I've gotten to do what I love to do and travel all over the world and have a lot of fun doing it. Mentoring, I've done some with the National Federation of the Blind, the Rocket On program, uh, the Maryland Business Roundtable. I guess my advice would be to anyone out there that they can do what they want. They have to be persistent, you know, you know look for help, you know, look for people that care about your future, um, you know, work hard, get a good education. You know, that would be my advice and that, you know, the opportunities are out there. Yet yeah, there are obstacles, difficulties, but they, they can be overcome.